Did you know that 93% of people don't grocery shop this way? <laughs> well, stick around because I'm going to share 20 tips that can save you a lot of money on your grocery bills. Tip number one, advanced meal planning. Begin your week by laying out a meal plan that uses overlapping ingredients to minimize waste and maximize variety. For instance, buy a whole chicken to roast for one meal, use leftovers for sandwiches, and make broth with the bone. This type of planning reduces waste and increases the efficiency of your purchases. Tip number two, the ultimate organized list. Your shopping list should be a living document. Updated in real time as you notice you're running low on essentials. Organize this list by categories based on your grocery store's layout, which saves time and prevents the temptation of unnecessary aisles. Consider apps that manage your list and can be shared with family members to avoid duplication. Tip number three, mastering price comparison. Invest time each week to browse through online flyers from multiple stores. Use price comparison tools to pinpoint where essentials are on sale. Familiarize yourself with the typical prices of items you regularly buy. This knowledge is powerful and ensures you recognize a genuinely good deal when you see one. Tip number four, exploiting cash back and coupon apps. Link couponing with technology. Apps like Iboda, Honey, and Rakuten offer digital coupons and rebates that can be easier to use than traditional coupons. Make it a habit to check these before you make your shopping list and plan your purchases around what you can save money on. Tip number five, smart bulk buying tactics. When it comes to bulk buying, focus not only on the price but also on your consumption habits. It makes sense to buy non-perishables like rice or pasta in bulk, but Perishables should only be bought in large quantities if you're sure they will be used before spoiling. Consider the storage space you have and whether you realistically have the means to store bulk purchases properly. Tip number six, the benefits of store brands. Explore the world of store brands for common staples. These products are often produced in the same facilities as more expensive brand names. Start small by substituting store brands for things like spices baking ingredients, and canned goods. The savings can be significant, and many shoppers find there is little to no difference in quality. Tip number seven, bypassing prepackaged convenience. Resist the allure of convenience foods, which are often marked up significantly. Investing in good kitchen tools like a mandolin slicer or a good set of knives can make food prep easier, allowing you to buy whole foods and prepare them yourself. The savings over time are substantial not to mention the health benefits of consuming fewer additives. Tip number eight, seasonal produce shopping. Enhance your meals with seasonal produce, which is less expensive and fresher than out of season counterparts. This might mean adjusting your meal plans according to what's in season, but it also introduces a wonderful variety to your diet throughout the year. Plus, buying locally when possible supports your community's economy. Tip number nine, Savvy Shelf Searching Don't just look at items at eye level. Brands often pay for those spots. Look up and down as cheaper alternatives are often placed on higher or lower shelves. This minor change in where you look can lead to major savings over time. Tip number 10. Smaller Carts, Fewer Purchases Choose a basket or a smaller cart if your shopping list is short. Psychological studies suggest that big carts can subconsciously encourage you to buy more to fill them up. By choosing a smaller cart, you're more likely to stick to your list and make fewer impulse purchases. Tip number 11, Perimeter Shopping Strategy. Most grocery stores are designed with fresh items like produce, dairy, and meat along the perimeter. By shopping mostly in these areas, you avoid the center aisles where more processed and expensive foods are located. This not only saves money, but also encourages a healthier diet. Tip number 12, avoid shopping when hungry. Eat a meal or snack before you go shopping. Shopping while hungry can lead to impulse buys and poor food choices. A full stomach makes it easier to bypass the snack aisle and stick to your shopping list. Tip number 13, the value of frozen goods. Frozen fruits and vegetables can be just as nutritious as their fresh counterparts and are often available at a lower cost. They're also great for reducing food waste since you can use only what you need and store the rest. Tip number 14. Strategic use of manager's specials. 
Keep an eye out for markdowns on perishable items that need to be sold quickly, known as Manager Specials. You can find great deals, particularly on meat and bakery items. Plan to use these items soon or freeze them for later use. Tip number 15. Loyalty programs and their perks. Take full advantage of any loyalty programs offered by grocery stores. These programs often provide not only discounts at the register, but also personalized coupons based on your shopping patterns, special promotional pricing, and even fuel discounts at affiliated gas stations. Tip number 16. Proper produce storage techniques. Research the best ways to store fruits and vegetables to maximize their shelf life. For instance, storing onions in a cool, dark place separate from potatoes can prevent them from spoiling quickly. Effective storage practices reduce waste and frequent shopping trips. Tip number 17. Meal prepping and freezing. Spend a part of your weekend preparing and freezing meals. This is especially useful for busy families. By cooking large batches of meals, you save both time and money and it keeps you from resorting to expensive, less healthy last-minute meal options. Tip number 18. Rethinking bottled water. Consider installing a filtration system at home and using reusable water bottles instead of buying bottled water. This reduces both your grocery bill and your plastic consumption, aligning with eco-friendly practices. Tip number 19. Learning store sales cycles. Each grocery store has its own cycle for sales and promotions. By understanding these cycles, you can plan your shopping trips around when items will be at their lowest prices. This might mean stocking up on non-perishables or freezer items during big sale events. Tip number 20. Monitoring your savings. Keep track of the savings each of these tips brings you. Set a goal for the amount you want to save each month and challenge yourself to meet it. Celebrating these small victories not only motivates continued effort, but can also fund bigger goals like vacations or emergency funds. And there you go. 20 powerful strategies to ensure you never overpay at the grocery store again. Implementing these can make a substantial difference to your monthly budget.